So this one's actually the 15th anniversary that we've had it here at Splash Kingdom. Um, we do it every single year on the same day. It's super important for kids to be able to come to a water park. Not, they don't always have a body of water that they can get into to practice swimming. So here, providing them a safe space with lifeguards on duty, and then someone kind of following through the steps and the importance of how to swim. I think that really makes a big impact on the kids here that um, get to come in and experience that with us. I think because it's such a big event, um, wanting to be a part of that and provide that here in Akadoches for the families that aren't able to travel to a bigger water park um, nearby. I think closest to us is probably over an hour drive and so having it here locally available to the families here was a big factor in having it here in Akadoches. So how does Splash Kingdom, how, how do you all prepare for it? So we get an itinerary, we read over it, we decide who's going to help us um, provide the best, best experience for the kids. So um, we look over what the world's largest swimming lesson exactly wants us to cover and we make sure that we have the capabilities to do that with our staff and our team. So we had six of us total. Um, we had two guarding the pool um, without being involved and in maybe talking to the kids as much, just making sure that everyone stays safe in the water. And then we had me, um, lead instructor here, with three um, helpers to make sure that I had all my bases covered because I can't be everywhere at once. I've been doing this for seven years. This will be my seventh summer here at Splash Kingdom, so quite a bit of time to kind of get this down. <laughs> and so what are the goals Having all the kids understand that safety comes first, making sure that they know how to get into the pool safely and where their exits and entrances are in case you know they aren't told that specifically and then how to get there. Um, but we wanna let them know that fun is important too. So safety comes first and fun comes second. And um, how does the, this event also, as you was mentioning, the safety portion contribute to the drowning prevention efforts locally and locally? Yeah, especially because this event was free to the public, we hopefully were getting the word out to a lot of people um, to even maybe have them be hearing this kind of stuff for the first time. So because like I said, not everyone has pools at home that they can get into and practice safety and swimming. Um, some of these words like life jackets and entrances and exits for pools and asking permission, or that might be the first time that they hear it. Um, and so just bringing them in to at least hear that covers a lot of bases for us just out in the public. And how many children were here today that you all were Um, I'm not exactly sure. It seemed a good 15 to 20 kids that were here today. And, um, is there anything different this year, um, versus past events? Um, past um, I think maybe how much we were able to spread the word. I think we got a really good turnout this year compared to before, um, and that helps a lot with um, word of mouth, just getting the word out there.